Welcome back to the channel. We're here at U-Haul. And as I've said before, U-Haul is always an adventure. Anne's with me. She went through that door to get carts. We gotta go through that door and around to the loading dock on this one. I bought three units. Um, the total price for all three units, pretty good deal, $270. So if we find much at, at all, then we're going to be doing good. So three units, $275, $270, I'm sorry. A, by the time you add buyer's proof and stuff, just say $300 for all three. A 5x10, which is this one right here about to open, and then two 10x10s. Um, drove all the way down here, almost an hour. We're kind of on the south side of Atlanta, and they wanted to, it was a pain in the butt. We've been here for probably an hour just now, getting these things paid for and able to load them up. But this is the 5x10. Let's open it up and see what we got. Lots of boxes. Let me step back a little bit. Lots of boxes to look at. There is, looks like a bed, unassembled bed right here. Curious to see what this is going to be. We've got a couple folding tables here. Those are always easy sells if I don't keep them. Christmas stuff. We got some, if that's what's in there, a little buffet set, but... Looks fairly nice and neat. Like I said, mostly boxes, at least right here. But now we might move the stuff and find some big furniture past these couple of boxes here. But um, but like I said, we got this one and we've got two more. So we're gonna do just a lot of mostly loading. We're gonna show just a little bit and have to show some of it when we get back or else we will be here all night long if we try to show everything, anything and everything that we find in these. But there's Ann, she's got the carts. We got two carts here. This is the only one that's inside. The other two are outside. So we're gonna get started on this one, try to get this thing loaded up so we can move outside and, and get moving along. If anything though, we got some nice containers, like I always say, these are nice ones with the clasp on the ends and those are definitely an easy sell. All right, let's see what's in this black bag. Ooh, sorry, I kinda dropped that a little bit. It's like a bag slash case here. Oh, the zipper is got a little nick in it right there. What is this? It's a one. It's like a table and chairs. I think that's a chair right there. No, what is it? It's some kind of folding something. I don't, I really don't know exactly. It's like some kind of big stand or something, I don't know. I think it may be like some kind of like camping station I've seen before where you open it up and you have a spot to put a grill and different you know stuff to kind of set up when you're camping and need like a uh, workstation. Got some brand new um, serving ware. Kind of matches up with this, the buffet set, which, yep, that's in there. What is it? Blocks? It's giant tubing tiles. Oh yeah, giant. It's like a big jenga. That's big what it jenga. is. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Comforter. More bedding. Very nice container. More bedding. Or a mattress pad, if that's what if that's what it is. Oh, it looks like there's actually a, another bed in here. Maybe no, maybe that's a mirror. I thought it was a headboard, but it only goes to right there, so that's probably just a mirror. Okay. Lots of bedding right here, pillows and comforters and all this kind of stuff, and all these bags, shoes. Yeah. And now we kind of reveal more more um totes we got some stadium chairs here a cooler but yeah look they're, these are actually for the bed this is a big four poster bed and i can kind of see look there's the post up there the top that's the top and i can see all the posts so this makes a big four poster bed it does look like it's gonna you know, have some nicks and scratches but those four poster beds can be 
can be pretty um pretty pricey we've sold them many times before and got pretty good money for them and right here this looks like it's probably what it is yep we got a little um ice maker it's like a countertop ice maker all right and i wonder if that's what that is ceiling fan okay it's one of those ceiling fans that doesn't have the blade it's like a just a regular fan but mounts to the ceiling it looks like that should be what it is if i can get it out of this hole I think that's what it is, but it's upside down. Yeah, and I put it on that, that right there. All right, a blower, and the last box on the floor here. We got lots of school supplies slash office supplies, pencils. Oh, those are personal pictures, but we got index cards, notebook paper, construction paper, tons of paper down in there. And then some lots of index cards. Pretty nice little looking piece of luggage right there. It's got stuff in it. Looks like another piece of furniture. Maybe something that matches this. If that's in there, that's pretty cool. It's a snowman tree. I know. I'm looking at that. And then we got the speckled enameled pot there. Those always sell. And then looking in here, we got liquid plumber. Actually, looks like a sewing machine. Yeah, there's a yeah sewing machine in there. I don't know exactly what's in there, just kind of odds and ends. Looks like mouthwash, baby lotion. So just kind of a general mix of stuff in these right here. All right. For some reason, the U-Haul guy, he was standing here directing me, and he had me park way off of the, the wall here. <laughs> This is not even, this is regular dock height too. And of course the U-Hauls are lower than that. So go back up and look right there. It's a bottle of pee. You will find those at storage facilities like this a lot of times. This box here, there's a bunch of little like jewelry boxes. It looks like here, Michael Coors. And it's empty. So could this stuff be in the unit somewhere? Here's another Michael Kors. Empty. It's got the paperwork. These are all these are all Michael Kors. These are all empty. This is yeah, even the white ones, that's Michael Kors. I don't know what this this is just Kohl's, but it's something for fifty dollars. But it's empty. So it looks like all these are empty. One more. Box. At least it's got the headphones. <laughs> and it's got an empty iPhone box, but it has the um, earbuds in it, she said. But all these, all these are empty. So there's a Bradford Exchange something, but it is empty. Okay, well, I'll have to keep an eye out and see if we find any of this stuff. It'd be nice, that'd be a lot of Michael Kors watches. All right, we got lots of wires. We got speakers. Oh, these are Bose speakers. Bose, Bose. There's two more in here. Yep, those are Bose. So there's a set of at least four. Actually, it looks like here's more. There's a whole set of Bose speakers there. And then when we come over here, that was on top of this. This is cassette tapes. We got cassette tapes, two live crew, lean on me. So, but also, here's another thing cassette tapes. So, if we look over here, we got an Xbox. Xbox 360. Telephone. There's controller. Um, those are actually PlayStation controllers going in there. I wonder if there's a PlayStation 2. Not a PlayStation 2, but a PlayStation also. 
So there's some games, but also what I was looking at is they've got several brand new VHSs. I don't know if any of this is anything. These are all sealed up, but I don't know on these. I don't see anything that looks too crazy. The Nutty Professor, the Clumps, Players Club. I don't know if any of this would be worth anything. Um, oh, that one right. It's Boys in the Hood. Still sealed up. Got a few DVDs here, but I don't see anything that looks too crazy on the VHSs that looks like it might be really worth something, but I'll have to check those out. But that's good. Games, controllers. Well, like I said, there's. So this is a PlayStation controller, so maybe there's a PlayStation in another box here. When you're buying storage units, a lot of times you will get one like this that looks like mostly going to be boxes and stuff but you always going to be prepared for heavy stuff because these things back here they're big and awkward and heavy so if you come by yourself just be ready for stuff like this and then this one here the headboard is still attached to this end right here and we don't have a tool with us that'll take this apart so we got to try to get this down the hall with the headboard attached to one of these big posts so like i said just be ready for who knows what even on a small Five by ten one like this, you never know what you're gonna find buried behind the boxes. That's you know makes it a little more difficult to load. We got some posts in here and some stuff that's off balance. We're riding over to the next unit, but I got Ann in here at the moment. There she is. Ann's Ann's gonna ride back here, hold these posts. That's right. Hang on, Ann. I'm gonna go really, really, really slow. Barely even creep along. All right, we're at the next unit. Let's check and make sure Ann's still here. I'm here. <laughs> She's still there. She's still hanging on. We're stopped, Ann. Okay, this one's not straight. Oh. The very back. Tried to, she's knocking them over back here. Huh? We are at the second unit. This one is 10 by 10 unit outside. This one does have, I forgot about the mattress, and there's a couch I didn't really see. This one has more furniture than we were really anticipating. But that's all right, but there's still a good many boxes. But as you can see, 10 by 10, we've got, here's a mattress that goes with this bed right here. Let me see if I can kind of get take a look at it. Mm, it looks all right, but it looks a little bit too dirty to sell most likely. We got some kind of a TV stand here. I don't know if these legs right here go to it. It looks like they do. I saw that when I was bidding. At first I was like, well, the legs aren't there. And then I saw these sitting on there. Coffee table, end table, chair. We got the cushions for the couch back there. Some kind of other, another like TV stand looking thing. Then when we get over here, we've got, whoop, we got some artwork. Several boxes over here. It looks like just kind of some Accent furniture, chair there, artwork, stool, all that kind of stuff. Wall decor, lamps. Kind of your basic house uphold looking stuff overall. Your wine, wine art. Oh, and behind that, I don't want to show right there, there's a picture. But one of these, um, well actually two of them, two of these patio chairs. They kind of tilt back and recline. All right, let's get this one loaded up. See if we find anything interesting besides the stuff that we can kind of see from right here. We're loading up lots of furniture and looks like a lot of decor in the couple boxes we've kind of seen in. Other than, you know, just kind of decorative vases and stuff. Let's see. Thurgood Marshall, Fighter for Justice. And then some little plastic Tupperware. <laughs> well, we got purses. I mean, that one's worn out. Very worn out purse. Yeah. That one's all right. All right, we're close to being done with the second one. We got a couch, we got mattresses. We're getting full. Most of what 
left is this small stuff, even though we do have these couple of chairs. They put something on this and it doesn't. But lots of decor. That's kind of what's been in the unit. Pretty clean looking stuff. Overall. This right here says, do not put anything on top of this Mattel. <laughs> I don't know what that last word means. No. no. Metal. Metal, okay. <laughs> Mattel. Mattel. <laughs> but it looks like pretty clean pots and pans down in there. What is this? Oh. Okay, that's separate from this. They just had it yeah. in there. Oh. Just drop the earring there. A couple little pieces of jewelry and then this. I think it's a little kind of silver plated little kind of little jewelry or trinket box yeah. but it's really deep is the other this looks like okay that's just a ceramic bowl and then a tea kettle okay this is all mostly looks like kitchen stuff besides this one thing right here but i can see pots and pans down there they look really clean but it's not Mattel, <laughs> metal, dolls, dolls and stuffed stupid. animals, oh, oh, stupid animals. dolls and stupid animals, and then we got whatever these are. Alright, we got a couple of these boxes here, looks like kind of decor, just a lot of just decor, just standard household stuff and then decor in this unit here. That's a, um, like a DVD player right there. Vitamins, Mucinex. Alright. Put that back in there. Alright, and then this one said dolls, stuffed animals. But, it looks like pots and pans from here. It's all kitchen stuff. Kitchen, kitchen, casserole dishes, pots, pans. I can see food down the bottom. Cheerios. And then one more of these. This just looks kind of like kitchen stuff, dishes. This is a Fiesta Ware plate. I don't know, they might just have a bunch of mixed up dishes. It kind of looks like that. Alright, so like, not a whole lot that was like really exciting in this unit. But, overall some, you know, some clean furniture for the most part. This was the worst thing in here, this chair that's all peeling. Um, a lot of boxes just with kind of just standard decor. Nothing like really unusual. Just a lot of basic stuff, basic kitchen stuff. Vases, that's that, that big bowl, decorative bowl, and then down the bottom, it's just kind of, you know, just generic, basic stuff like that. Vases and everything. That's all lamps down in there and other decorative pieces. Like I said, kind of, it's a good unit, but kind of a boring unit, really. As far as nothing like interesting, nothing gross, nothing unusual, unique. But we're going to finish getting this last little bit on the truck and then we will head over to the last unit and see if we can fit it on this truck hopefully we can all right one more unit to go this thing was supposed to be a 10 by 10 i just checked my um on storageauctions.com i just checked the um listing it was listed as a 10 by 10 but see i pulled over here and it's 159 so i'm looking i'm like okay that's 159 but obviously that's not a 10 by 10 door that's 160 so that's a different unit and then you come over here it does go 10 foot that way but then that's a different numbered unit so then i came over here and they give you a code for this lock i just took it off and it's the right one and it's actually a five by ten so it's right here it was it was listed the size was listed wrong but you know that happens sometimes i'm not going to go up there and complain because i'd rather just it actually might turn out good because we were getting close to running out of room 
So this will fit, and if, if I would have had to drive all the way back down here for just a little bit of stuff, that would have ended up being costly. So it might actually turn out good that this was only a 5x10. I didn't pay much for any of them, so it's not a huge deal. If I would have paid a whole lot for it, then it'd be, you know, that would have been a whole different issue. But, you know, that's what it is. It's a 5x10. Can't make it any bigger. And I just want to get this thing on the truck and be done with it. So, but this is it. As you can see, it's lots of, we got a bunch of crates here. We got boxes. Um, there is, it looks like a file cabinet maybe. I see a key hanging off. Look over here. So there's a key hanging there and some of the stuff look it says arts and crafts containers we just, it seems like we're just always getting arts and crafts um that has a name on it trisha that says die cut on it that's uh what is that oh that's a little one of those little little pedal machines that you just put on the floor and pedal and whatever else i don't know we're gonna see what we find but lots of a whole thing of crates i think it is craft stuff you know those little punches yeah these are the little punches that you punch the hole out in the and paper crates sell good. yeah the crates yeah we always sell the crates they That's do pretty good well we're about to dig in and see what all we got here oh yep we got cds yes, there yep. is. Oh. that's brand new yeah. James Fortune. So whoever these are, I don't know. Yeah. Folders. Yep. Several CDs. I don't know if there's <laughs> anybody anybody knows in there, but it's like a little uh, cake pop-up card making kit. You make those those uh, pop-up cards. Yeah, this whole thing is full of these punches. And I figured out last, I put a bunch of them together and they didn't really do well. I think they do better if you put these things almost individually because these are expensive. So then when somebody sees a design they want, they'll bend it. Look, here's another butterfly one for Leah. Got a whole bunch of these things in here. Look, scissors. Oh. So it's full of them. That's like, that'll make a butterfly garland or something yeah. like strips yeah. all right mm -hmm. yeah. Good this is that one's yeah <laughs> those things are heavy they're all um, metal here we got red metallic so we got like crafting paper this whole thing's full it's all brand new you get a lot of craft or at least we tend to get a lot of crafting stuff in the units we get. Look at these right here. It's like they got little metal, almost like stencils. I'm not really, I mean, I guess it's like a stencil. Yeah, happy birthday. They're metal. Art bins. So the bins are nice. They got all these stencils in them. That one's got, it's hard to read because it's all backwards love and different stuff on it. What do we have here? We have, um, what is this? We got elephants, camels, little tiki guy. We got some, um, some wooden elephants. Look, the tusk are broke. So many times the tusk are broke on these things. statues there there's all that that's just uh, like notebooks with paper books down in there oh, little jewelry also something like a push pin little um bookends with drawers virtual reality glasses these aren't these are little cheap ones. These things don't really go for a whole lot. When they first came out, can't get this back in there. When they first came out, I could do pretty good reselling them, but here lately, they don't seem to do too good. Thermal laminating pouches. Alright, I want 
to check, see what this is die cut. Maybe that's what those things are that were in that container with those metal pencil little, little things. Maybe they're called die cuts. I can get this thing open. Here we go. What is it? Little cutting boards. Maybe that's a die cut. I don't know. It looks like. What is it? A whole bunch of whatever this is. They're just little. Okay, they're all things to make signs with. They've got the wooden, I mean, the um, rope on them, and then they're just a wooden sign, little sign maker. There's a whole bunch of them brand new. There's um, eight of them. These actually, these always do good, these little blank sign makers. We've had a lot of these little blank wooden things there. All right, is it going to be all crafting stuff? I don't know. Here's a pair of shoes, but... They look kind of, they're dirty on the bottom. <laughs> That's weird, they're like really clean on the top. It looks like somebody wore them like one time and they walked like on, um, almost looks like they walked on asphalt that hadn't dried yet. And then on the top they look almost brand new. They're Dr. Scholl's work shoes. There's a little exercise thing. I want to see what this right there is. This is, ooh, look at this. REX sewing machine. Look at that, Ann. Little sewing machine there. Oh, man. Or maybe, no, I guess that's Nex. I said, oh. Yeah. I said Rex, but I think it's Nex. Yeah. All right, what is this? Let's move this out of the way. really heavy so ugh, I'm gonna move other stuff out of the way first dang this is full of towels all towels oh. Oh, and there's more towels and more towels they're all towels good lord I'll get a better set some of this stuff. Alright. What is this? Holy crap, what is this? It's a Fit Pulse Muscle Recovery and Gentle Pain Relief. It looks like it's brand new. Dang, look at this thing. Is it like a massager? Foot massager? It looks ex it looks expensive, whatever it is. We will look this thing up and see, but it looks expensive. Just look this thing up, and it's around $150 on average. So, no, I was thinking it might be a lot more expensive than that, but better than nothing. But yeah, the average price is about $150. We have a adjustable overbed table in that box. This right here, what is this? Mm -hmm. um, flip shelf, four shelf, wide, round, black. Some kind of shelf. <laughs> okay, like it's like a metal wire shelf. And yeah, it's all, it's brand new. I can see down in there and see cardboard and plastic wrap around it. Nope, oh, set that there for a second. And then we've got a folding table. A brand new folding table. And what is over here in this corner? I miss this. What is this? Anna Griffin Empress. We need a cord for it. What is it? No idea. You have any idea what that might be? Anna Griffin Empress. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I don't know. Hmm. But 
something brand new right there. Looks like. Up oh, another thing that looks brand new. And then I don't know what else. We'll look at the rest later. This is. <laughs> oh, it says it right here. Storage bags. Oh, it's these. Oh. <laughs> it's these bags right here. Mm hmm. And this, let's see. Uh, same thing. That's a full one because that said three, but they're missing. I think this is yeah. three of those storage bags. Arts and craft containers. Look at all this yarn. Brand new yarn. Here's a shoe box. I don't know if that's what's in here. Arizona Jean Company. So. Oh, it is a pair of boots. <laughs> Alright, do we have another pair of shoes with black on the bottom? No. I don't think these are these are not even the ones that go in there. These are women's shoes. These are not worked shoes. Oh. Alright, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna take this file cabinet down the stairs out of the unit here. Hopefully this is the only, looks like everything else is boxes, which, you know, makes sense since you gotta get, take stairs to get up here. But I've seen ones like this where people put heavy, heavy furniture and you have these weird drop offs and stuff. <laughs> yeah, here we go. We're down to the last half here and look we got a whole nice big pile of boxes and a couple more of these bag things but it's like boxes all the way to the back wall all the way to the floor so that's good because we're needing some boxes towels uh there's other stuff written on but that's all i can see from right here is towels but several brand new items so far and what we gotten off of their crafting items and such now we've moved some boxes we've uncovered some nice little black like footlocker containers three of them there some other sterilite black containers back here in this back corner this is mom card maker this right here this was a, a christmas present it's an air fryer i think it's a brand new yep kasori air fryer so this little unit right here is Putting out some good stuff for sure. Mom card making. I don't really know what that is. Mom die cuts. All right, what do we think are in these boxes here? Trisha TV and basement stuff. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. All right, and there's three of these things back there. What do you think, in them? It says Trisha TV and basement stuff, I think, is what it says all the concrete block to, to build a basement um, it's a lot of books man no wonder it's so heavy books books and more books yeah we're gonna push them right up in there so not too exciting as I was thinking it might be. So, yeah kind of push it right back into that hole there I can't get it can you get that? Yeah. Needs to go over that way just here. All right. There's two more. Let's try again. This one feels like books too. Man. This thing definitely feels like it's more books. What do we have? Holy crap. It's like uh, lotion and all that stuff. 
tons of this. What is that? Batteries. There could be some good stuff down down in here once you start digging, but man, there's a lot of. Uh oh, here's a beets case. Oh, the beets are in there, but man, they're all peeling. There's so many of these you get, then the, that that um, rubber and stuff on the ears is always peeling. Look at that brand new deodorant. There's an infrared thermometer. So this is probably going to be a lot of good stuff in, in these in this one right here, I think. You didn't get that other one in? The last one, this one is much lighter than the other two. And it is clothes. Is that what all it's going to be? Now we have the stack of four nice containers back here in the back corner. I wonder if is there something specific in them or just they just had four containers to use maybe they put clothes in them towels my gosh what, what why they had so many towels goodness gracious there's a lot of white towels yeah because they're all white that's for sure or maybe they didn't them. all right this one one feels a little heavier maybe nope white towel weston heavenly bath it's full of but they're all they're different that's some of them are weston sheridan oh they were taking hotel towels weston sheraton i mean i don't know that's what it looks like maybe are you gonna if you would set that up there i'll give them huh Here's more of them. There's some other stuff underneath, but there's a lot of towels here on the top. And then there's some other stuff. Sheraton. Uh, now, I mean, I know some of these hotels like sell their their branded towels at the store. Yeah, maybe they worked at the hotel and they were, when they get new towels, they sell them as a discount. Or maybe if you look close, maybe if they get a spot on them or something. You got that? Yeah, got it. Then they um, get rid of them. Not towels, but just kind of, just a bunch of mixed stuff. All right, we are almost full and we're almost done. We just got those couple boxes and we'll be done and we'll head on back and probably tomorrow we'll unload the stuff and see what, see what else we got that we didn't already see.